Stephen Mark again and this is part two of my latest collection and we're starting with Spawn. Another one that came out due to the gap between US releases and UK releases normally very very quickly after I saw it in the cinema. It's a decent one because it did have extras, audio commentary on it. But it did kind of give me a headache due to the composite nature of the film. I need to get a decent laser display. I want a bit naff. I have one of these Star Trek TV movies that Pioneer produced in the UK. All Good Things, which is the last Next Generation TV movie. And CLV with zero extras. Oh no, it does have the link for the two versions. And Star Trek Generations and Star Trek First Contact trailer. That's the only one I own of those, so I wouldn't mind getting more. The Exist Special Edition, this is when it was still banned in the UK, I got this. In a little break. Laser so heavy, cardboard is not. Take note if they ever make a format like this again. Has the documentary and the commentary. I think this came out on DVD about the same time, but I didn't have a DVD player at that time. I didn't get one until 1999. We have a film I still haven't bought again, which I really must get around to. It's the Italian job. I've seen it recently in High Def in Sky and it does look good. But I don't think you can get cover art like that nowadays. It's the Pioneer widescreen edition. So it's zero extras, but it's the Italian job. It's awesome. Yeah, for my one of my only discs that actually has laser rot, New Lines Lost in Space, the widescreen special edition. It's one of the first ones that New Line put out on DVD and as such it does have the extras that the DVD has. Not a great film but oh, it's caught cool time. And we have Mr. Brockheimer's The Rock. THX, again when THX meant something. Zero extras, which is a shame because there are extras on the Criterion DVD. I'm not sure if there was a Criterion laser disc. I got the DVD when it came out, but I don't know if there was ever a laser disc. It's cool on Michael Bay film. And to Wedding Singer. Got this when it first came out. Again, nothing on it really. Except for the theatrical trailer, Chapter 29. But that nah, sounded better than video. Looked better than video. Let's have. I think the only Alien film I have, Alien Resurrection, THX Special Widescreen Edition. Do you like Jean-Pierre Jeunet films? Even this, I know it's much maligned, but I am a big fan of this. So we have the New Line Widescreen Edition of Blade. I do have the limited edition Japanese. DTS DVD, which did cost me an absolute fortune. It's the only time I've bought this again. Hopefully, New Line will step up to the Blu ray plate. So this does have extras, but it is missing some of the extras that are on the DVD. It does have the commentary. And if after you have yeah, Designing Blade and Theatrical Trailer on the last couple of chapters, but it is not Dolby Digital, even though the DVD was. We have The Crow. Great film. Again, THX. Zero extras. It hasn't even got the trailer on this, which is one thing about Lasis that they did normally have the trailer, which a lot of DVDs don't now have for some bizarre reason. So you have not one I've watched about twice, I think, The Waterboy. It's not great, but. So the last laser disc I bought when laser disc was still about, I bought some since. My pride and joy from my Kevin Smith collection, the Criterion Chasing Amy. Now this was released on DVD as a Criterion DVD as a laser disc transfer, and the UK version has most of the extras, but it doesn't have the exquisite gatefold or the liner notes from Kevin Smith. Has the commentary as well and 5.1 Dolby Digital, outtakes, deleted scenes, theatrical trailer. 
Criterion new handy laser discs. We have House Party 2, never did my House Party 1 laser disc. Some of this on a shop in London. As you can see the fake stuck on UK rating that sort of allowed them to sell it or get away with it. Now I've got this on DVD, but I believe it's the latest.